Hi, everybody. We're so happy you could join us here today at the Muskingum County Library System for the last of our four part series, Time for Tiny Tots, all about the importance of play as one of the five early literacy practices that you can do at home to help your little one be ready to read. My name is Miss Jen, and this is my little buddy Dudley. And today we are going to talk about how you can use some things that you found find around your house, mainly things that you find in the kitchen, to work on brain development and also early literacy skills. Now I know what you're thinking. Miss Jenna Dudley, how does letting my little baby drag out all the pots and pans in my kitchen and all my cookie sheets and all my big bowls help them learn how to read? Well, doing things like banging on a pot Dudley's really good at this. He likes to do this. Helps your child develop a sense of rhythm. And if you combine that with something like reciting a nursery rhyme or singing a song, you will be working on an early literacy skill called phonemic awareness. Sometimes it's also called phonological awareness. Basically, singing helps break down language so that children can hear the smaller parts that make up words called phonemes. So they're letter combinations, rhymes, or syllables. So we're going to try this. We're going to sing a song that you probably know. It's based on a classic nursery rhyme called Peas for a Chot. The words will be provided in the video below here. Get your pot ready. Are you ready, Dudley? All right. So what you want to do is to bang it in rhythm with the syllables. Peas, porridge, hot. Peas, porridge, cold. Peas, porridge in the pot. Nine days old. Some like it hot. Some like it cold, some like it in the pot, nine days old. So you have words like porridge, which are two syllables, and that just helps your child hear that those words actually have two separate parts. You can also sing a song like one, two, buckle my shoe, which is a good counting song too. Let's give that one a try. Are you ready, Dudley? All right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, slam the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Yay, good job, Dudley. All right. There are lots of other things that you can use in the kitchen. Um, things like colanders, which also make great hats, by the way. Dudley, do you like it? I like it too, right? I think it looks pretty good. Um, with this, you can work on motor skills and you can get some pipe cleaners. They're also called Chanel sticks if you buy them in a craft store. And let your little one just poke them in and out of the holes on the colander. These, um, if you do buy these, you want to make sure before you let your little one play with them that you actually um, bend down each end of it because they are a little bit sharp on the edges sometimes on the ends. And they can play with that, and that probably keep them busy for a good while. You can also use things like scoops, plastic scoops, your measuring cups, measuring spoons. Let your little one play with those. They love to play with those. Or if you have metal ones, they're good and noisy too. Um, things like a big bowl. Just fill up a great big bowl with something that's baby safe, like cereal or crackers, maybe like goldfish crackers or something like that that they might like to eat. Or, you know, maybe like uncooked rice, something that's pretty safe or just plain old water too. And let them scoop it all in and out. They love to do that. Um, something that I know my mom did with my sister and I when we were little was she made a big bowl of chocolate pudding and she just put us in the bathtub with it. And apparently we loved it. <laughs> Very messy though. Um, when you have, you might have something like, everybody's got one of these, the cereal box. I like to go to Sam's Club, so I get the big ones. And these are just smoothie straws. So all you do is cut a hole in a cereal box and put these straws in it and let your little one take them in and out. It's just another great motor skill practice there. Other things you might use around the kitchen, something like this whisk. Now you can take a whisk and put either a ping pong ball in it or if you have a pom pom or something fun like that. And babies love to try to get that out of there. And it also makes a really cool rattle. Dudley really likes it. He's been playing with it, haven't you? Yeah. Some other things you can do um, if you have an older child is to use magnetic letters. 
You can use them on the refrigerator or just put them on a cookie sheet like this. These are pretty inexpensive. You can find them lots of different places for under $5. And these are a little bit larger than the ones you sometimes find, but they can start practicing their letter recognition, which is another one of those six early literacy skills that children need to learn. And this is so easy for them to do too. And the cookie sheet is a little bit nice if you don't always want them underfoot in the kitchen playing on the refrigerator. Another thing you can do with older babies and toddlers is to take a cookie sheet or a, I'm sorry, a muffin tin like this and let them sort things by color in them. Maybe like M&Ms or cereal. Oh, he likes, yeah, you like um, Fruit Loops, don't you? Yes. And they can sort by color or maybe size. And actually sorting will help with the letter recognition later on because they notice the difference between letters. It helps them start recognizing differences. That's what sorting really does. And um, we've got some other things you can do. Oh, sorry, we're a little bit noisy here. We've got all kinds of stuff all around us here. So uh, the next time your little one drags out your Williams Sonoma, don't get mad. Just sit down on the floor and play with them because it's really great for brain development. And at two, your little one will also want to start helping in the kitchen. And I do use help with quotation marks. They can do things like, you know, put dry ingredients in a dish that you're working on or maybe help you put away dishes. We all know how they like to help, right? Help load the dishwasher, maybe. <laughs> so we really appreciate you joining us here today. And we do miss everybody a whole lot. Meet us back here on Facebook at 1030 a.m. on August 4th, where we're going to talk about how you can read, um, join our, our 1,000 books before kindergarten and read a thousand books to your little one to really help them be ready for reading and ready for school. We'll see you all later. Thanks for joining us. Say bye-bye, Dudley. Bye-bye.